Hey guys, my name's Bob. On YouTube, I'm Counter Bobby. And on Xbox Live, I'm Big Bobby K. First things first, I want to thank the Hubby Community channel for posting this for me. Hopefully, I can get some uh, people interested in watching some of my videos that I have up on my channel, which is Counter Bobby on the YouTube. But I guess I should introduce myself to people who haven't seen my videos. My name is Bob. I'm from New Jersey. I'm 25. During the day, I work as a scientist for a pharmaceutical company, doing some research and testing. And at night, I uh, like to play games, mostly first-person shooters, so, along with uh, some NHL 11 online. All in all, I've been gaming poof, poof, for a long, long time, ever since the original NES, on through Sega, the PlayStation, the original Xbox, now 360. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy mostly first-person shooters. I did stop playing the console for a bit to uh, play World of Warcraft, which took over most most of my time, like uh, like most MMOs do, but I got into consoles uh, probably about this time last year. Got into playing Modern Warfare 2 a bit more, Call of Duty 4, and now get back into the Halo series. Played a little bit of Halo 3, but not much. So still getting used to Halo again. But all in all, it's a, it's a lot of fun. The one thing I want to talk about during this commentary is. Some of the things I could have done differently to improve my score. I f do finish 24 and 10 in the team, but there are some mistakes I make, and uh, still getting back into the Halo swing of things, and can learn some things. And hopefully, you can take some things away from uh, this as well. Usually, I'm not too well with the close quarter combat. It's something I need to work on. But right there, I do uh, come out successful, and then I fail right here. It's one thing I really need to work on. Uh, if you have any tips, please comment below. Leave me some hints and tips on uh, how you deal with close quarter combat. If you try to back away and go at it, or if you go in for the melee. It seems like I go in for the melee, I get it off, and they get it off, and then I lose the, the short fight afterwards. Uh, right here is a nice little example of a situation that I could have done differently and improved. I know guys coming up from that grenade, I'm sitting here with a shotgun. Uh, I miss with a melee and I miss with a shot and he falls. Uh, I sat here, then I go down, which I shouldn't have. I could have either hopped down and looped around him or just waited. If I would have camped there and waited, I might have had a better chance. But I came out unsuccessful. Yes, there's two guys, but it's a, it's a time where I could have done something different and possibly come out on top in the encounter. If you do notice, I do choose the uh, needle rifle over the DMR and the loadout. I like the needle rifle a lot more. I don't know why, it's just, just the feel of it. And I guess in Halo and other first person shooters, the feel of the gun makes a big difference. You know, if you feel better with one, if you're uncomfortable with the gun, you're not going to be using it as well. And you're going to be put in situations that you're not going to overcome. And also, I like having the sticky grenades a little bit better. Uh, you know, when you're in close quarters, you can stick the guy. There's a couple times in this match where I do stick a couple people and it comes out that I win that because, you know, I stuck them and with the regular frag grenade that possibly could have blown us both up and I could have lost and won at the same time. I usually play a team objective or big team and uh, invasion. I try to stick to invasion and, and uh, team objective. Actually, I think this is my second or third team slayer. I like objective games more, just it's funner for me. Funner, it's not a word. It's more fun. There you go. I speak English good. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like the objective type games. For me, it's it's more about like winning and having a team. You know, sometimes you come out with uh, just bad team members in a Halo and they just don't know what they're doing. And Halo is definitely a team oriented game where you need some communication. There's definitely not people, not enough people on. Uh, using their mics and stuff so that's kind of disappointing but hopefully maybe if you see this video and you want to play with me or just send me a message add me as a friend I'd more than happy to play with you the more the merrier it's always much fun as a group and a team uh, hope it definitely helps with that and sharing gamer tags up on there counter bob is my username on there uh, here's another example of improvement all four of my team members are facing that direction no one's really looking behind and without radar, you know, you can't really see. I should have been checking my back, and right there it leads to a death. Just a little tidbit. And here again, I spawned this guy. It's just a natural reaction to throw that. Didn't really see my team member. And got a betrayal. And I believe I lose this 
I know I win. I win this close quarter. It seems more the close quarters that I win is me backing up. Uh, not going in for the melee. Uh, right there. After the first shot, I should have backed out, used the sprint, and uh, ducked behind the barrier. I shouldn't have gone forward, especially with the grenade launcher in my hand. Another mistake I made. Hopefully you can take these tips and put them into your game and improve your game. And uh, I know watching my own videos, I try to take my mistakes and the things even I do right, look at them and uh, go from there and improve. That's definitely one thing to get better at a game. Look at your mistakes and also look where you did well and that's how you improve at games. It's not just looking at the bad and be like, oh, you know, or saying, oh, I got screwed, you know, it's not my fault. You, you gotta take things and really analyze it and understand why things happen. You can't take uh, the little mistakes and just brush them off. I mean, without a mistake, you know, no one's perfect, so you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna make great plays, you just gotta go from there. And right there, I sh I had the high ground. I shouldn't have come down and attack. Uh, I ended up losing the battle right there. I got stuck. I should have sprinted at him. Instead, I just kind of walked. But yeah, I should have stayed up here, the high ground, and uh, taken him down as I did earlier in the match. Be I was up there taking some people out. <laughs> I actually didn't realize I couldn't shoot through that thing right there. Which leads to another thing that can improve your game. Uh, knowing the maps. I know Halo's new, and learning all set of new maps. Some, some are remakes, but... Knowing a map can greatly improve your chances in uh, winning a fight, winning a, a match, knowing the fastest route for a capture the flag or a bomb assault, or knowing good places to hide for oddball. It's a great advantage to know the map and know where the weapons are. You'll just you'll take control of the match that way. Well, the match is ending right about now. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments about it, leave it below. Uh, let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. Uh, also leave back any of your uh, gameplay feedback. Any uh, improvements I could have made, anything I didn't touch on that you wanted me to. And if you enjoyed, check out my YouTube channel, which is CannerBob8. Uh, check out my videos there. And I'll be putting out more Halo videos. Occasionally I just put out little clips of good plays I made. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.